Hey guys, happy Tuesday. We're doing a lunch break sale on a Tuesday. So we have been doing it on Thursday, but I'm gonna be gone on Thursday. And I'm gonna actually be in Des Moines at Gateway Market from 11 to two. So for those of you who live in the Des Moines area and have flexibility in your job, um, if you want to just pick something up that you get today or maybe you got something last week, um, there's a few of you who are already going to do a pickup, um, you can come to Gateway Market Thursday, which is the 20th, um, from 11 to 2 and pick up your items. So if you want to pick your items up instead of having me ship them, just say that um, and shoot me a message after we get done with the live. So um, we changed things up a little bit this week um, and are doing the lunch break live on Tuesday, but also if you watched on Sunday night, I um, talked about how this week we're gonna try things a little bit different and I did not ship anything um, that sold from the Sunday night sale. And what I'm doing is gonna do combined shipping. So if you find something else you like, mailman, if you find something else you like today, sorry, then I will just put it with what you got on Sunday. So the mailman's a little bit later than normal because I think yesterday being a holiday, so hopefully you can hear me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and you know what? I did not try and switch my screen today, so let me do that really quick since it has actually been working. There we go. Okay, so first up we have this progressive course in spelling. Um, and if you saw in stories, I totally smashed my um, finger and I was stupid and literally just slammed it in the door. It was like slow motion. I could see it happening and <laughs> I just couldn't do anything about it. So um, I'm handicapped for a little bit. All right, $5 on the spelling book. And then we've got Wonders of Science. It's covers a little bit more torn up, but that's what I love about it. It does have some writing on the inside as well. It's also $5. Oh, we got some people, stick people in the back. So $5 on the Wonders of Science book. This one is My Jean the Ark. And again, I picked ones that have like springy colors. Well, I guess that red one doesn't have it, but um, it was in the pile and those school books always sell well. So I don't see anybody saying hi, which makes me a little bit nervous on if comments are showing today. <laughs> so if you would hop uh, or, you know, take the time to say hi, the King of Glory, and then that way I will know if comments are working or not. If comments aren't working, then what happens, just do the same thing you always do. So this is a hymnal, um, $5 on the King of Glory. You'll just be make sure that you're specific on which book you want or which item you want so that I know um, and so that everybody else knows. And it's literally whoever says that they want that item first on my phone. So when we get done here, I will, the Citadel, I will <clears throat> go back and look at everything. And um, that's the year I was born. And then I will just reply to your thing. Like I'll click like, that tells you that I read it. And so I will know to invoice you for something. If you're second in line, $5 on the Citadel book. Um, if you're second in line, I will just say, hey, you're second, because I can tell comments aren't working because surely somebody would tell me hi, right? So we've got a little hoe end. It's got some red coloring on it. I have not sealed this at all. And these are nice because they will set 
and then you can um, magnet something to them if you want. You can also hang them on the wall, like do two nails here, and then you have a little shelf that you can do something fun with, and it looks neat from the side. Um, so um, $8 on the hoe. So if you haven't done a sun or Sunday, if you haven't done a lunch break sale or any sale with me, then what happens is you just comment sold on something and then I need your email address and zip code if I don't have it already. And then I will invoice you for the item just um, on Facebook Messenger. And then you just follow the directions to make your payment. So you can pick it up locally in Centerville or I can ship it to you or this week is kind of unique because I'll be in Des Moines on Thursday. So you have that pickup option as well. So on our cornbread cast iron piece, it is $20. Okay, since spring is coming, decorating with umbrellas, I know it breaks the rules to open an umbrella in the house, but these look great if you're having a baby shower, if you um, have a, a shop or a booth and you're decorating in there. Um, I could see it being a cute item for a porch, for porch decor. Um, so I picked a couple that I have that are more springy colors. Um, so this one is, I mean, it's got some rips and tears in it just because of its age, um, but really overall it's in great condition. So hopefully you can kind of see that in the video. So on this uh, striped umbrella, it is $10. So $10 on that umbrella. And then I have one other umbrella, and this one we'll call the floral umbrella. And same thing, it's in pretty good condition. It does have a hole. And this one is nice too. I don't know if you've seen where they will take an umbrella and open it a little bit, fill it with flowers, and then kind of use that as a wreath on a door. So that is an option um, or an idea for repurposing. Um, I literally just had this open. For repurposing an umbrella as well. So on this one, um, where's the hole? Here's the hole right here. And I just don't have it tight all the way so that you can see a little bit more of it. So um, on the floral umbrella, it is $10 also. So $10 on the floral umbrella. Okay, next up we have this little aluminum camping. I guess I don't know if it's camping, but I think of it as like something that would go in a camping display with like some metal lunch boxes, some picnic baskets, some colored thermoses. Um, so this little aluminum teapot is $12. Does have the, what, the whistle piece on it. And this part right here is wood. So $12 on the little teapot. And then we got another little kitchen item, aluminum um, colander. This one is just normal pattern. I know the starred ones are very popular but it does have feet that it's going to set up on. So that is um, a nice feature. You could set this on the table or on the counter and put fruit in it. Um, you can hang them on the wall. Um, so a few different options for this. And I'm sure you could plant plants in it as well. So from handle to handle on this one is about 11 and a quarter. And then it's almost nine inches in diameter. So $15 on the colander. Okay, then we have a copper. I'm going to say it's a planter insert, um, but I could totally see this for your Easter um, centerpiece down the table. You could put some moss coming out of this and do candles and bunnies and eggs. Um, I just think that this would look really good. And then you could even layer it on uh, like a white chippy board or some kind of board um, that would be a nice um, contrast to it. So it's got some great patina. It's got the turquoise oxidation uh, reaction and it is 35 
it is put together really well except for, or it's held together really well, except for right here, that is not attached anymore. So if you knew a metal worker, or I guess I don't know on copper, but a lot of times you can use this like punch thing and um, put the metal back together. It's gonna be about 26 inches long by five by about five. So $35 on the copper planter. So just to recap, uh, uh, comments are not showing on Facebook. So I can't reply to you because I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> so I will go back and I will watch um, after I get off and get the live posted. Um, and then it'll just be whoever shows up first on my phone will get the item, okay? So I've got a couple of corn cob pipes and I am going to sell them as a pair. Um, both of them have the mouthpieces are completely there, no breaking. Um, you can put these in like a coffee mug and have them displayed that way. Um, I have a cigar um, holder or I I'm keep saying cigar and I'm, I'm going to get somebody saying, hey Brooke, that's a pipe. It's a pipe. So just know that my, my ability to remember things is, is not always the best. So pipe, pipe holders, I have those. Um, you could just lean them on a, like a book that I had, um, just set them up because they are going to set up as well. Or um, you could, if we get another snow, go stick it in your snowman for a fun picture. So we've got $20 on these two corn cob pipes. Okay, then we have a silver um, platter, almost like a bowl. It does have some depth to it. Um, I'm not seeing, there is a little bit of a faint marking here. Sheridian maybe, you can just barely, barely see it and probably is very determined upon um, the light. But you can see, gosh, this thing is like a mirror. You can see our chair and my everything going on there, the light, the phone. Um, $15 on the silver tray. It's got some great detailing on it. It's about 13 and a half by eight. And you could use it as a tray or use those plant holders or the command strips and hang it on the wall as well. So that is another option. Okay, then I have a couple of drawers. And these drawers have great handles on them. They're going to be about 16 by 13. And they're 20 each. So you can buy one or both. Um, they're just oak. Well, I'm guessing they're oak. I guess I'm not skilled at that. But you can see the handle is an awesome uh, piece. And the drawer is awesome as well. It has some repairs done with some metal, probably out of like an old can or a sign or something because that was very common. So this one has a crack in the bottom and this one doesn't. But again, you can um, hang them on the wall like this. You could stack them on top of each other. I would say leave a little bit of space because then you can put um, decor items here and then you can use this as a shelf and this as a shelf. You can hang a picture or a mirror if you need height in whatever you are displaying. Um, so drawers are so versatile. And you could just put this on the coffee table exactly how it is and throw your magazines, your remotes, your Kleenex in it. Um, and just having that extra little um, layer with the drawer on the coffee table just makes it look... Um, more pulled together, okay? So $20 each on the drawers. Just specify if you want one or two. Okay, next up we have this wooden sign. Um, this was probably, it was used in a store. I bought this when the shoe, the shoe tree was still open up on the square. And I had the intent of painting something on it and that has never happened. You know how that goes, right? So you could just like, I would probably be sloppy and slap some black uh, chalk paint on it so that then you could write with a, 
piece of chalk and change it out um, because you could do kind of like they do the memo boards. You could just do a cute saying and change it out for the seasons. Have this be on your counter, on a mantle, on a dresser, anywhere. Or you could do like a couple of different signs, one on each direction. This piece will slide out, I'm pretty sure, unless I re-glued it, of the base. And I only have $5 on this wooden sign. So if you want this, you're just gonna comment sold and wooden spine, spine, sign. And just as a recap, um, how this works is you'll comment sold on something, and then if I don't already have your email address and zip code, then you're gonna send that to me afterwards and I will get shipping calculated for you um, and then send you an invoice uh, via messenger. So I can't remember what the first letters are on this, F.W. McNess, but it's a famous cutting, uh, cookie, cookie sheet company. So $20 on this. You could hang this on the wall like this. You could put it in a toolbox or a tote layered with an ironstone platter or some piece of an enamel or something. And then you could use it as a magnet board as well and magnet some recipes on it. So McNess um, cookie sheet, $20. Okay, then we've got another unique cutting board. This one is a fish. So I've had pigs the last couple times. This is one that you could just lean up against the back of your counter. You could hang it on the wall. Um, it's just something unique. It kind of seems I am not skilled on my wood identification, but it kind of appears to be a walnut because it's just, it's not been stained or anything. It's just naturally dark. So $30 on the fish cutting board and the fish is about 15 and a half inches. 15 and a half inches on our fish. Now, I only grab, well I did grab two. I got two um, levels and the neat thing about the levels, I have seen them mounted just like this on the wall and then people will use this little ledge or turn them like, no, I think I've seen them only like this, and use this ledge to put stuff on it or to lean a sign on it, um, mount this to a board and then attach it to the wall and do that, but it looked awesome. So that's just kind of a unique way that you could display a level. So this one is red and green and it is $15 and let me hold it up the correct way. Dunnap maybe. And I don't think there's a marking anywhere else. Dunlap. Dunlap is the, the company. Okay, this is a very unique piece. I can't tell you exactly how it works, but I got it um, from a company that made signs. So somehow in these, there's like some sl slots here. So if I loosened these um, bolts, then the slots would get bigger. And somehow the letters would stick into those slots. They would tighten them down to hold them in place. And then however they ink it and put paper on it, these clips would hold the paper. Um, there was a bunch of bumper stickers with it. So maybe this was what they used to make bumper stickers. Um, but I'm sure you could come up with an awesome way to repurpose it. If nothing else, you could literally just stand it like that and use the clip to hang something from it um, or use it uh, thumbtacks to hang a bunch of somethings um, from it. So this sign maker, for lack of a better word, and I took it off, um, it's an ACCO, A-C-C-O, and oh, I took the tag off, darn it. Um, we're gonna say $25, $25 on our sign holder, or sign maker. Okay, then we have a door insert. Um, it does have a little bit of damage, but this white chippy, so it would have been like this in a door. Well, I guess there are the, the two sections that go vertically, but I was envisioning 
envisioning it this way, but you can kind of see the panel, the three dimension right here. So it is white paint on one side and wood on the other. I think it's easier to see the damage section from the wood side. Um, so it's not perfectly square. It's going to taper in just a little bit and it is five dollars so this again like you could put a simply set on it you could layer a couple of those little miniature wreaths that like kind of go over candles it's almost 25 inches long by about eight <clears throat> so 25 by eight so this whiteboard is five dollars okay I think this is a hand screw, hand drill, hand drill. So it goes like this, if I can hurt myself. And you have different uh, bits that would go into this part. Um, I have a couple of these. This one has um, a brown handle and I'm gonna say it's wood. So wood on the knob, wood on this piece, and then pretty much everything else is metal. And it's $10. So Again, thinking outside of the box, you could do a piece, hang it and use it like a piece of artwork. You could make this be the handle of like a wooden box, like make your own toolbox looking thing. So that is an option as well. So $10 on the um, hand drill. Okay, then we have um, a pencil sharpener. It would have had like, they're very thin, uh, flimsy pieces of plastic that would have gone around here to hold all of the shavings. And that has not lasted um, through the years. I do still think that it would sharpen. It's just going to leave shavings all over. So $10 on this one. It does have the screw holes, so you could mount it to the wall if you wanted to. You could mount it to a table if you wanted to but $10 on the pencil sharpener. And then we've got this little level. Again, um, this would even look cute hanging um, up. It's got some markings on it or put in a crock or something and have it displayed that way. Both of the levels do have holes, so it'd be easy to hang it uh, vertically. And this little one is $5 and it is 12 inches long. So just a reminder, comments are not showing up today. So I will come back and reply to everybody when we get done. All right, this is a plumb bob. It looks like a top, but it is not. It is super heavy. I'm gonna say it's probably brass. Um, and then your strings would have gone in here and up through this hole and you hold it and it dangles and it tells you where straight down is. And I know that because I watched a guy do it when we lived in Kansas City because one of our basement walls was falling in. So $30 on this um, top shaped plumb bob. And then here is another one. This one will be the bullet shaped uh, plumb bob. I have a whole collection of these um, in a bunch of different styles. So the string's still on this one, but it's not in the right spot. So it would have been funneled through there, came out the top, um, but $30 on this one too. So an awesome thing to collect. All right, next up we have this little metal drawer. It would have been from a deep cabinet. It's got a cute little pole on it and wooden end. And then another wooden end on this side. And I have not sealed it or anything, but you could definitely spray some clear, clear sealer on here and um, seal in this topical rust. So you could just set this out somewhere and put some little things in it. Um, you could hang it on the wall if you wanted to vertically or sideways, and that gives you a couple little ledges as well. Um, it's $15 and it's about 19 inches long. So little metal drawer. Okay, and then a few of you were interested in the horse bit the other day, so I grabbed another one. 
Um, again, hang it on the wall. You can put some chain or twine and hang stuff from it as well. <clears throat> I think I've seen these even used somehow to hold toilet paper. And the bit is $15. Okay, then I've had a few people wanting some amber bottles. So here's a little guy and it is $5. So $5 on the amber bottle. It's about three and a quarter inches tall. And there is a little chip right there. But I think that's it. You can also see the air bubbles in it. So it should be a pretty old one. This one says Listerine, Lambert, Pharmacal, it really does say Pharmacal Company. It's like embossed on it. And this one is $10, $10 on the Listerine. Then we've got four wooden um, knobs from like a dresser. And the four are $12. I think some of them match and some of them do not. So I think these two, no, nope, they're a different color. I would say none of them match. They either have fatter backs or skinnier backs, even if the top is the same. So $12 on the four wooden knobs. Throw those in a white bowl or a light colored bowl and it makes a great statement. Okay, then we have a white with red trim um, enamel bucket. And I have $30 on it, but it does have a rust, um, it's rusted through here on the bottom. And so this is now $20, $20 and it's got a nice uh, bale handle. So $20 on the enamel bucket. Okay, then we've got um, this red oil can, it says ga or a gasoline can. Um, it's got some great chippy paint. I think if you sprayed it with a sealer, um, you can even do the matte, so it's not super shiny, but it just looks a little cleaner and more polished. So depending on the kind of look that you're looking for in your home. And this gasoline can is $25. Then I grabbed a stack of four ironstone plates. Now these I'm guessing are a newer ironstone because they are um, lighter weight than a lot of the ironstone. This is a Red Cliff. What else does it say? Red Cliff Ironstone Fine China Lindenham. And then it's got that RC on it. Um, but they all, uh, match. They're all the same plate. So you're getting four of them for $35. So four ironstone plates, Red Cliff for $35. No chips, no cracks, no discoloration on the platters. Okay. Then I had to round up my tops for somebody. And these are the ones that I have left. So I've got, um, two brown ones and a green one. This one does have um, a notch or a, a piece on it, so it's not gonna sit flat, whereas these other ones would sit flat. Um, I know a lot of people collect tops, so they're all a little bit different. So I'd like to sell the three, and they are, it'd be $30 for the three. Then we got this little ironstone um, platter, I'm not sure if it's a soap dish or if it's just a platter, and it's marked T and K China. It's got some good weight to it, and it's $15. So on the little ironstone platter, or you can put soap dish, six and six and a half inches. So just a reminder, if this is the first time doing a sale with me, um, it's a bad time to do your first time with me because the um, I'm not being able to see comments. 
but I will come back and look at the comments and what you just need to do is say sold and then make sure you specify what the item is that you want. You need to send me your email address and zip code. This one is more falling apart, but another Bible. There's the spine. And this top one was brown, in case you couldn't tell that from the um, camera. And then this one is so was black, but it's so worn that the spine really pretty much looks brown. And it's got some writing in it and a picture. And you can kind of see what's in that one. I kind of think there was a couple little notes in it too. So I put these together for a bundle, um, a stack of Bibles. So you can kind of see what that would look like there on the screen. So $45 for this stack of Bibles. Okay, then I grabbed another candlestick holder. Last one we had was the gold brass and this one is silver. Um, it is very heavy. So the top or the bottom piece here is a little bit lighter, but this piece is a lot, has a lot heavier weight to it. Um, it's not stamped anything, has some nice detailing to it. And again, your eggs, your croquet balls, your top tops, um, you can just stack so many things instead of a candle on here. So, um, you know, just don't limit yourself to thinking it will only hold candles. So $20 on the candlestick holder, and it's going to be about eight and a half inches tall and about 12 inches wide. So $20 on that. Then we've got a Jets red ball, um, from Indiana. Just an old box and it's just neat because it's got the, I don't even know if that's basketball or kickball. It is, um, you know, bent, it's been used over the years, but some great advertising. And then on the inside, it has the old paper that the shoe would have been with or that they stored with whatever they kept in here. So on this Jets box, it is $5. See, how are we doing on time? 37, not bad. Okay, so then we have this floral um, piece of china. I'm not even sure what exactly this style of pot would be called, but it's got the great, um, my favorite green color and then some um, pops of pink for all of you pink lovers and it says hand painted and then Wasser maybe is what that green stamp is saying so you can kind of look at that but $25 on the piece of china from handle to handle it's about nine and a half inches and then um, height, you're probably looking at about five inches. So $25 on the china piece. All right, garden tools have been super popular and look at this one, it is pink. Um, pink with a wood handle. So this would be fun in your spring garden display. It is $8 and it's a lot longer than the other pieces that I've had. It's 13 and a quarter. So 13 a quarter on the pink hand rake. Okay, then I've got a few bundles of little pieces of architectural salvage. Um, these are some kind of finial. We've got those two that match. Then this one is a little bit different. And this one is a little bit different. And it does have, see how it's flat there on the top? So it does have a little bit um, of damage there. So you're getting the four for 12. The little finials, four finials for 12. 
And then these almost look like chess pieces, but I don't think that they are. And we'll just call them chess pieces if you say sold and you want the chess pieces, that way I know what you're talking about, versus the finials. Um, but these are four for $12. I'm super bummed that I can't see any comments. It's ne That's never fun. Okay, then we have this milk bucket. And the milk buckets, because it will hook, are super popular because you could have a ladder and you can hook this on it. You can hook it on your porch, on a gate. Um, it just gives it so many more options when you're looking to display stuff. So $20 on the milk bucket. Then I have this bracket and I only have one. Really, you could still use it as a bracket and just have a more of a square board or um, even a half of a circle um, sitting on it and this in the middle. Or how I like to put it is just standing up like this in a display because what color does it have on it? It has on it green and it's chippy and it's rusty and it's just got some great patina to it. So $15 on the shelf bracket, and it's going to be about 10 by 12. So 10 by 12 on the shelf bracket for 15. Okay, then I have this awesome rug. And I'm not gonna be able to get it all in the picture, but it's, it is old. Um, it says French Wilton on the back. And I mean, it's got some, what would you call it? I mean, it, it's not all furry completely. You can kind of see there where it's worn, um, but it's got great coloring. And I'll show you how the French Wilton is stamped on the back. It's on there in a couple of spots. So this says French Wilton. And then pretty much the only spot that I can see that has any damage, if I can swing this around without, is it starting to fray right here where it's folded under. But the other side is worn, but not really fraying yet. So you can see there where some of the stuff is coming off. Okay, so. On this, I never measured it like I should have, so I can I will measure it and put it into stories if somebody needs to know the dimensions, but it is $95. So $95 on the rug. So every time I do a sale, whether it's a lunch break sale or a Sunday sale, when I get done, I will go and put everything into stories. And actually, I posted um, on the blog how you can find stories because I know a lot of you are like, I would like to go watch your stories, but I don't know how to go watch your stories. And so if you go over to thejunkparlor.com, it was either today's post or last week's post, walks you through how to find stories. But I'll go put whatever doesn't sell during a live over there on, in stories. So this uh, macrame wall hanging is $20 and if we don't count the frayed part on the end it's going to be about 26 inches long so not going from the stick part to the bottom knot it's about 26 and it is $20. All right and our last thing for today is just this uh, wicker basket you could use it to roll up your towels. You could use it as a trash can. You could put all your extra toilet paper in it. It's kind of a dark color with like some gold highlights. Um, it's unique. I think it color coordinates well with that rug that I had. And this wicker basket is $20. So $20 on the basket. All right, well, thanks for sticking with me when my comments are not working. But, you know, I had mentioned a few times that a lot of people, their ability to go live has disappeared. So I guess I'm lucky that, one, I can still go live. Two, my camera screen flips so you can actually read stuff. Um, and I can still go back and look at the comments. I just can't see them live. So um, 
I probably won't be going live any the rest of the week. It'll just be um, on Sunday for my Sunday live. So uh, 7 p.m. hopefully on Sunday. I will see you again. And thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. The weather here at least is really nice.